for some people, painting comes easy. They live in a world of color. For the rest of us, there could be a lot of questions, like paintbrush or roller. Thankfully, Five Star Painting's here to help. Having the right equipment can save you a lot of hassle and leave you more time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Here's a list of things you're going to need to get it right the first time. You can also find this list in the description below. Prepping the wall is easily the most time-consuming and tedious portion of the project. Still, it's important to take it slow and make sure that everything is in place. You'll be glad you did. First, we're going to fill any holes or cracks with spackle. Be sure to overfill the holes and use your straight edge scraper to remove any loose, peeling, or flaking material. Sand afterwards. A medium grade sandpaper is recommended for a nice smooth finish. If you have textured walls, gently spray the necessary type of orange pill texture spray over the fixed area. If done correctly, nobody will ever know that there was once a flaw in your wall. But be careful, a little orange pill goes a long way. Next, we want to tape the trim, windows, and door frames. Be sure to use painter's tape, which can be applied up to a week ahead of time. Make sure that you remove the tape slowly and immediately afterward as to not remove any of the new paint and make more work for yourself down the road. Caulking the edges will create a smooth transition between different textures and leave your walls and ceilings with a nice clean finish. Before applying the paint, it's important to know if you need to use a primer, and if so, which primer to use. Ask your local professional about which type of primer would be best for you, or if you even need it at all. Now that we're taped and primed, it's time to start painting. A good rule of thumb is to begin where you can't roll. This is best done with a two inch angled brush. Paint around the trim and be sure to give yourself about three inches around windows and doors. When dipping the brush into the bucket, be sure to tap the side of the paint can to remove unwanted dripping. When using a roller, be sure not to submerge the roller all the way in the paint. Lightly dip the roller in the paint and use the tray to spread the paint evenly over the roller. Now, you always want to start with the ceiling first and work your way down, as to not get unwanted additional paint on the newly painted wall. Be sure to paint in long, uniform strokes for an even finish. Be sure to protect your carpet with a long, thin sheet of plastic or paint guide. They're not very expensive and save your carpet from any damage. If you have any questions, the professionals at Five Star Painting are here to help. We hope we've made your home a little more colorful. We'll see you next time.